The CEO of General Motors set to testify on Capitol Hill today. Mary Barra, who has only been in the CEO job for a few weeks, but she has worked for GM for many, many years, will face plenty of questions on why it took so long to issue a massive recall that was tied to defective ignition switches. Those problems are believed to be connected to at least 13 one of those victims was 16-year-old Amber Rose. She died in 2005 after the ignition key in her Chevy Cobalt slipped out of the run position. When she crashed, her airbag failed to deploy, which was connected uh, to this ignition issue, they believe. Amber's mother is vowing to keep up the pressure on both GM and the government. I contacted NHTSA multiple times, and I didn't just call the call center. Uh, they, they informed me that they were not interested in what I had. Joining me now is Republican Pennsylvania Congressman Tim Murphy. He is on the House Energy and Commerce Committee and is the chair of the subcommittee that will lead today's hearing. Uh, Congressman, good morning. Good to have you here today. Good, good to be with you. Obviously, a lot of emotions uh, on all sides, really, involved in this issue. We have heard from the families. We just heard a little bit from uh, one of the family members there. But what do you want to hear today from the CEO of GM, Mary Barra? Well, there was a decision made about a decade ago that despite this uh, ignition switch not meeting specifications, they went ahead and approved it anyways. And I want to know why. What was taking place within General Motors that allowed them to accept a part that they didn't even say was appropriate? And then when they modified it and they put it into new cars, why didn't they uh, retrofit into the old cars? Uh, what happened here? We saw some statements as we reviewed a couple hundred thousand pages of documents that they looked at costs here. Uh, there was some sort of a business case which is said it didn't meet that standard. I'd like to know what they mean by business case. And although Mary Barra may be new at the uh, helm, for GM. Nonetheless, she needs to answer to what was taking place within GM that had that culture where they didn't uh, handle these things right. Yeah. Uh, we have a little snippet from that memo uh, that was sent out internally at GM. Let's take a look at that, which, which refers to the phrase that you just mentioned uh, what, about it not being a business. Basically, the document uh, produced to the committee to date did not explain the criteria for an, quote, acceptable business case and how the decision was made in this case. So they, they were trying to figure out, uh, A, whether or not they had culpability at that point, uh, and B, whether or not it made financial sense, it, it appears, according to this memo, for them to go ahead and make the changes that would be necessary uh, to change that, uh, that, that ignition issue. I also want to play, because obviously Mary Barra is, is a big focus here. She's, she's a new CEO, but not new to GM. She's been there many years, but she is getting credit so far in many circles for how she's handled it since she stepped up to the CEO job. Here's a bit of Mary Barra on this. Something went wrong with our process in this instance, and terrible things happened. As a member of the GM family and as a mom with a family of my own, this really hits home for me. We have apologized, but that is just one step in the journey to resolve this. So there is uh, kind of what we would expect to hear some of in the opening statement. Uh, but one of the other issues that comes up here, Congressman Murphy, is, is the government and why the government failed on two separate occasions to open an inquiry into this issue. So there, there's some questions to be answered on the government side as well. Precisely. Compare Mary Barra's comments to what's coming out of NHTSA, where Mary apologizes and says we're going to get to the bottom of this. NHTSA says, hey, it's not our fault, it's somebody else's fault, and they have offered no apology. Look, they messed up, too, on two separate occasions. We don't know why, but for some reason they didn't ask the questions if the failure to deploy airbags related to the accessory uh, switch position uh, on the ignition uh, key. They had on their website, even uh, up to a couple of days ago, gee, if you only take off your extra car keys from the key fob, maybe you'll be safe. Mm -hmm. That's not an acceptable position. So we need to find out what was going on there as well, where they failed to protect the public safety. What, if any, role does the bailout of GM play uh, in this story? You know, obviously, uh, th this was a company that was known, you know, tongue-in-cheek as Government Motors because of a United States bailout of this company. I is that a part of this story as well in your mind? 
Well, uh, some are talking about what impact would this have upon the bankruptcy case and uh, lawsuits. What I'm interested in this whole process is what was going on at General Motors at the time. Uh, were there layoffs within their safety division? Was there continuity there? We know there was not continuity within, with among the CEOs, but what about the people who were supposed to be looking at that, who handled the steering column, the switch, et cetera? Uh, was there chaos there? Uh, did they have enough people on board? Those are all important questions to find out if those were in place or they were sacrificed while the company was in financial trouble. Now, there's a continuing federal probe uh, into this whole case outside of the, you know, just the, the business issue on their part, right? That's right. Uh, they're going to be looking at a number of things here. There's decisions that were made by people, uh, where people uh, who made decisions, the engineers, did they meet their own standards? Did they accept things that shouldn't have been accepted? There'll be lots of government uh, look at this. However, I still go back to NHTSA also uh, needs to make sure that they are not just pointing fingers of blame and they're taking some responsibility too. Yeah, uh, great points. Uh, questions that need to be answered on the GM front, also on the government front as well. We have so much regulation in place and, and I think a lot of Americans would like to see those regulators uh, doing their job, and there's questions about whether or not that happened here. Uh, Congressman Murphy, thank you very much. We'll be watching with interest this afternoon, and we'll speak thank to you. you. Speak to you.